looping ball to the back post where Goldsworthy is waiting. Can he stick it across? He can. He's waiting. Which oh, goal? It's only broken through. So remember, keep in touch with the Curnow Football Alliance and meet new football friends. Your football, our football, your channel. Curnow FA TV. Of course today it's Curnow. Curnow taking on Cascadia, both are members of Kanifa. And uh, this will be the first time these two sides have actually met. And in fact, this is the first away match for Curnow since their inception. So they've had a bit of a trek up from Cornwall today. From Hayden Turner. And I'm happy to say that they were Hayden Turner and Cam Turner for Curnow, both sponsored by Bay Lodge uh, Holiday Apartments. And of course, there's quite a lot of uh, support and interest in the ball in. First, the keeper squeezed in there. Oh my word, disaster for James Mayo. And Curnow have taken the lead. I mean, a shot from range that uh, looked, it looked like it wasn't going to trouble uh, James Mayo at all, but squeaked in at the far post. Listening in on our audio feed and, of course, watching on the live stream. I hope you're enjoying the commentary and the coverage so far. Of course, get in touch with us. Get in touch with us on uh, the Lottie's mic. And there's uh, Cornwall, Curnow coming in. And squeezing another one in. And again, James Mayo beat it in on his far post for the second time. Curnow double their lead. Broken through the, the Cascadia ranks again, and oh, little mix up. Three players coming forward. I mean, everyone wanted the ball in the end, and he got it at a vital moment. And a let up there for Cascadia. Very quickly taken and into the centre. And Tom Harris acting as a pivot there. The ball back to James Ward. Who's the captain today? Currently plays for Fault for uh, Town. Of course, uh, an ex White Tiger. Used to play for Truro City. There's Kerno. Leading by two goals to nil. And uh, Kerno striking the ball out to, to the left back in the middle. Touch there for Jack Garver. Again, Tinsley rampaging and forward here, delivering a low ball into the Cascadia penalty area. It's not fully cleared and slotted in. Oh, that's calm as you like, and a cool finish there from Max Gilbert. Makes it Kerno 3, Cascadia 0. Kerno 3 0 to the good, and then cutting in on the left again. Again, Jennings comes in on that far post and even the last ditch at challenge there from Tom to knock the ball behind for the corner. So again, it's the timing of the runs here by the likes of Jennings and Goldsworthy that are ultimately causing Cascadia to be undone at the back. Again, the ball will play forward, trying to pick out Jennings, intercepted. Tatish and Hayden Smith cutting in, still on the ball into a midfield now. Strokes and ball forward, very nearly picks out Gavin McCallum, but Cascade is still in possession. Nice little drag back there from Connor Campbell. Here's an opportunity. McCallum with a shot, he's charged down. The ball still on the ball. It's Cascadia threatening here with uh, Hayden Smith. Sends it wide. Yes, 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 yes. Get it, just play it up. Trying to play out their own half and intercept against head too much of the ball. And Kurnow getting bodies forward, low shot in and bouncing off the keeper's face. And the ball goes in off the flag already up. And that's, uh, well, I think that's going to be interesting there. So, uh, Simplifies with his pain earlier. The sunshine is out here though. 
frustrated with being playing without a scoreline, but uh, Kellen Fisher into the penalty area here. And goes down in the box, and it's been given. And this could be history in the making. Now, who is going to want to take this? Now, I'm pretty sure Gavin McCallum is going to want to take this. And stand by to remember where you were when this was taken as he nestles it into the back of the net. Side. Now, Kerno stretch that lead to 4 1. Some shot though to squeeze that, and there wasn't was a real tight angle. There's not a lot of space to squeeze that in. And Kerno lengthened and stretched their lead. It's a new word for you in commentary speak. And they've got themselves five one up and looking like a nigh on unassailable lead here in Northwood. We do get some of them picked up on regular, 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 regular uh, occasions. This is a sword. Spirit full of heart. such a long way. to insults and injury. A cheeky little thing over the keeper. To make it 6 1. And poor old James Mayo goes to town after a two year youth. Spell with him. Well-known names in the English non-league football. Here come Kerno again. Going to make it seven. Oh, the shots, even shots. Going out at Ryan Superman save there. Double-handed effort from James Mayo. Managed to get something on that. Oh, just that was literally a fingertip save. What are you not doing? Oh, 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 Also on the score sheet, Talon Mitchell, Dan Jennings and Harry Clark. Cascadia, ball one back in the first half. From the penalty from Max Oldham and Kerno very nearly going, going close to a seventh there. It's because it is a learning curve. We don't all, I don't all, we don't all profess to be ultimate whiz kids. Well, I don't know about the whiz kids. More than I can. I'm, I'm stuck at the toes to give me control on a good day. But uh, I think we've got things sorted out. There's a shot driven in there. Nice touch on the keeper. The very nearly beaten on the rebound. That just didn't stick to his gloves there. And the replay can take a quick response from the game. 
Now Killer Oak coming forward through the centre. Yeah. 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 Very much dominated by about wall of conifers. Yeah. dominated today. And that is seven for Kerno. You know what's coming next? That is simply magnificent from the side. Uh, I'm not sure. I think he may have passed, a, a, shall we say, a, a last-minute fitness test this morning. But uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he's going to get used today. And what a reflex save there! Sort of Seaman-esque save there from uh, James Mayo. The ball by riveted passing into the back of the net. And Kerno now make it 8 1 on this Saturday. And now, Stuart Carl just have a little glance at his watch there, the referee. I don't think we have much more time here. And that is the full time whistle here at Northwood's Fenton Engineering Stadium. Indeed, Kerno 8, Cascadia 1. Of course, we're not going anywhere yet because there are, there are going to be, of course, a couple of uh, presentations. So uh, congratulations to Kerno on their victory this afternoon. Where Goldsworth is waiting, can he stick it across? He can, he's waiting, what's goal? It's only broken shirt. So remember, keep in touch with the Kernow Football Alliance and meet new football friends. Your football, our football, your channel. Kernow FA TV.